Good morning. Today we're going to learn how to add true type fonts to Embird so that you can utilize them in Font Engine. Um, first, we're going to go actually into Embird Studio um, and click on the little Insert Font Engine Text icon and click anywhere on your screen. Um, as you can see, I have lots and lots and lots of fonts. But, I'm going to load a new one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little folder uh, icon. And I'm going to find an empty space. And I'm going to click on it. I know where the f uh, fonts that I'm going to load are. They're in my clip art. Hungry JPEG. And I'm going to load the ones um, from a free font bundle that they had in July of 2017. So when I do that, it activates this. So right now it's loading all of the files. Let me show you. Uh, these are the, the actual files that it loaded. We're going to play with Berrylicious real quick here. Here is a preview of it. It's a cute little font. Um, but we're just going to play with it and, and see if we can use it. See what it looks like. So now that uh, we've loaded everything, let's go over here and see if we can find it. hasn't loaded at all yet so we're just gonna the little icon is still loading or there so it still thinks that there's uh, fonts that need to be loaded and Berrylicious is there now um, so we're just gonna type something in whoops somehow it got off of Berrylicious This is um, very luscious light. As you can see, it's a cute little font. You can resize it. You can make it taller. You know, just uh, play around with it. But one thing I like about Embird over some of the other digitizing software uh, that I own for lettering is that I do not have to actually install the font on my computer. When you install fonts, um, if you install hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fonts, it does actually slow down your computer. So this way, um, the font engine just looks into a directory that you have them in, and they're not actually installed, so you can't go into Word or you know any other program like that and then select this font to type with. So it's strictly for digitizing, and that's one of the things I like about it. Now, if you wanted to remove the ones that you just did, uh, that you just loaded, you go over here, and you you click on the the uh, little icon folder of the one that you just added that you want to remove, and say cancel, and it's gone. Um, so you come back over here, load the files again. Go back in, and Berrylicious should be gone. It's gone. So, that way, you, if you have hundreds of files that you use, you can, you know, move them in and move them out. Because the more fonts you have in here, you're going to have to search through them to actually find the font that you want to uh, use to digitize. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Bye.